Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and uh, as you can see, Esper is back since a lot of you have uh, wondered where she is, and she actually just walked off, but there she is. Uh, she just doesn't want to sit in the chair recently, so that's why she hasn't been in any of the videos. But anyway, let's go do a bit of multiplayer hopping today, because that's actually how we've been getting a lot of our good trophies recently, is I've been selecting a random multiplayer server and jumping into that. And it's been actually working out pretty good. I'll show you guys how I do it in just a second. But before we start, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that sub button. It really does help me out a ton. And if you're enjoying the video, be sure to hit the like button. But let's get straight into the video now. All right, so basically what I've been doing recently uh, in the past, I think, three live streams, I've been keeping it on all reserves and then putting it to worldwide. And I've basically just been scrolling down, finding a server that's one of eight, and just joining it, regardless of what map it's on. So in this case, Parque Fernando is the one I would have clicked on, and it's been yielding some pretty cool stuff. Uh, as you guys have seen in some of the previous videos, we got a diamond gray mountain lion, a and this one actually haven't, hasn't been posted yet, but we did find a diamond jackal from a multiplayer server doing this exact thing right here. And I figured we'd give it another try today and see if it's just as effective. Alright, so I uh, went ahead and moved the chair because Little Esper doesn't seem to want to hang around right now. So no use in having that back there. But let's go ahead and check our loadout real quick and then we'll get to the actual hunting. Alright, so here's the first half decent thing that I've found so far. Unfortunately, that first uh, parquet server that I joined... Uh, the guy that was in there said that it wasn't his map and that it appeared that it was a hacked map so I decided to leave that server and we are now here on Verhunga Savannah and this level 4 right here is a pretty good size one so we're definitely going to take it down I believe I've got the 7 mil with me so that should be more than enough to take this little guy out alright so once it turns we'll take the shot this seems to be a somewhat decent angle so let's see how this goes That took care of that little guy. I really hope we weren't too high because that very well could have hit the spine, but hopefully it didn't. Otherwise, that little guy is going to be completely messed up. All right, so here this little dude is. Uh, this is a pretty decent size one. I do believe this is one of the bigger level fours, so uh, hopefully it'll be a decent scoring one. And 4840, it's actually, I guess this is actually one of the smaller ones been a while since I've hunted these so for some reason I thought this was the larger tusks but not a bad start still a decent little trophy okay so this right here is actually a pretty awesome looking Gemsbok let's try to get its attention real quick because we do want to try and take it out uh, unfortunately I only have the 7mm to take it with because I have the 470 in my other slot for the Cape Buffalo but we're gonna try and get this down with the 7mm if it will give us a shot because it's not too often that you see the dark variation on a level 4 let's just try and get this thing to turn for us it seems to be being very stubborn though which is unfortunate yeah it's being very very stubborn unfortunately we might be able to take that though it almost gave us the chance in fact, right now it might. This might actually be good. Struck it pretty hard. Hey, that was a good shot, actually. Okay, so we did get it. That is good. We'll have to go grab that thing. Alright, so we actually do have a mythical Cape Buffalo right here. And I think once we go grab that uh, Gemsbok, we'll actually come back and try to take this guy out. Because uh, this is the best leveled one I've seen so far. So definitely want to come back and get it. Especially for respawns in hopes of getting a Bighorns Diamond to spawn. Because I still don't have a Bighorns Cape Buffalo on this particular account. I have it on my leveling account, but not on this one. So uh, we do need to try and get one of those to spawn in eventually. I haven't had the best luck so far, though. The last couple diamond capes we've got have been the small horns, unfortunately. But one of these days, we will get a big horns one. I think that's another small horns. <laughs> well, right as I'm talking about needing to get another level 9, we actually find one. 
<laughs> I guess that thing was hiding in the brush. Well, hmm. Now the question is, do we go get our Gemsbok first and then come back, or do we go ahead and sneak up and take this now? I think what we'll do is we will go get the Gemsbok first and then we'll come back for this guy later. And we'll try to get close enough to take it with the 470. Because I really don't want to use the 7mm on it. And I feel like the 470 will be a lot more fun. Also another thing that I wanted to mention. I think that might have been the most dark colored Gemsbok I've actually ever seen in the same herd. I'm pretty sure there was like 5 of them which is a little bit more than normal. I think the most I had ever seen previously was 3 or 4. So that is a new high for the amount of dark Gemsbok I've seen in one herd. Pretty awesome. Glad that one of them was a level 4. Alright, so here we have a vital organ hit as I thought it was, so that is awesome. Hopefully this one will score high enough for diamond. It's not a guarantee because this is the lower weight estimate, so uh, there's a pretty high chance it won't be, but maybe, just maybe, this will be a diamond dark colored Gemsbok. Alright, well anyway, here it is. This is a beautiful looking Gemsbok and hopefully this one will end up being a diamond. Let's go ahead and get a quick picture because I don't think I've ever killed one of this size before. So definitely a cool trophy. And let's see the moment of truth. Is it a diamond? Just a gold. Actually that's barely even into that estimate. Unfortunate. Honestly I can never really determine like how big these level 4's are. I have a really hard time telling so unfortunate it was only a 307 but that's still a really nice looking Gemsbok. Alright well there our Cape Buffalo is. Unfortunately the wind is starting to shift toward his, towards uh, his direction so I don't know how this is going to go. I'm hoping that it doesn't mess things up too much but the wind always does seem to come around and swing towards the animal I'm after right when I need it to not. But anyway I think the game plan here is going to be to just crouch walk up close enough probably gonna try to get to about 50 meters and then we'll try to take it with the 470 and hopefully we can uh, hit a vital organ because 470 is one of those guns that I haven't used a lot so I really don't know how it's gonna react I know it used to be kind of bad back when it first came out and on the old scoring system the 470 was not used very often and I'm trying to remember why I think it was just because it didn't get quick kill if I remember right but uh, since that's not really an issue anymore, uh, hopefully we'll be fine, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, so he's actually going alert. I don't know if that's from the wind or if it's my crouch walking, but definitely not good. Oh no, it's actually going towards the wind now. I guess it was just the crouch walking, but I don't like the direction it's starting to walk in. Uh, we're going to have to try and get to within 100 just to get a reliable shot, but... I'm kind of scared now. I'm kind of scared that we're going to screw this up. Because uh, I feel like he's not going to let us get as close as I'd like to. But fingers crossed this works out. Alright, so we're getting really, really close now. And I'm in an area where I have to kind of stand up to see him. And he goes alert every time I do. So I'm going to have to be really quick with everything that we do here. Oh, he's actually fleeing. What? He's actually fleeing away. I don't know how this guy is so skittish, but he is. Well, I guess our only option here is to really jump across. Hopefully this will give us a better angle on him. All right, so I've been having an absolute time trying to get this guy back. And when I finally did and started my stock and was back to getting after this guy, my OBS uh, completely froze on me, so I did about five minutes without OBS going. So, unfortunately, I lost about five minutes of footage. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't have kept all of that in the video because most of it was just sneaking up on this guy, but uh, it's unfortunate because now we don't have the initial spotting of this guy again. Which is definitely not exactly ideal, but we are within 70 meters of him now, so we're going to try to get to 50 and then take him out. But it's honestly super disappointing the way my hunt has gone so far uh, between OBS screwing up and this guy getting spooked for seemingly no reason the first time. Uh, definitely not been an ideal hunt, unfortunately. 
Well, I mean, I guess he didn't really get spooked for no reason, but I guess what I'm trying to say is he was getting spooked a lot quicker than what he should have been at that particular range when I was crouch walking. Uh, he just wasn't cooperating, and the wind wasn't in my favor either, and now we finally have perfect wind and everything. Now we just need to get lined up on him, because we are at 40 meters now, which is easily a makeable shot. It's going to be a matter of getting his attention without spooking him. That is such a cool sight. Having a big old Cape Buffalo that close is absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, what a gorgeous Cape Buffalo. You know, let's actually get a couple pictures because there's a good chance I won't be able to get pictures like this too often. So, get a couple of him. Beautiful. That is awesome. It's really cool that we were able to get this close so we could get those nice picks. Ooh, he's actually in the perfect spot now. Okay. Get this set to 50. Uh, we do need to get the highlight again. Otherwise, this is going to be very hard. should be good that should be a good shot oh wow he actually went down really quickly I'm very surprised he dropped that fast but that is a vital organ hit perfect absolutely perfect what a beautiful cape what a beautiful cape buffalo let's go ahead and get another picture of him this time of him after he's down and we'll go ahead and claim this guy. Please be another diamond, Cape Buffalo. It is. Oh, that's actually the biggest one we've killed so far. 155.40. Okay, so this was actually the best one that we've cut so far. Nice. I think the previous best was like 153, I want to say. I want to say it was 153 or 154, but this is now the best one that we have. So we will definitely throw this in the lodge and replace the other one. That is absolutely awesome. Still kind of sad that that dark colored uh, Gemsbuck didn't make diamond, but I'm glad that this guy did. All right, so I think we're going to not only take this guy down and replace him, but also move it to a different room because I feel like it'll fit much better with the albino. So we're going to go ahead and take the melanistic plains bison down also and put this guy right here. And it actually is quite a bit bigger than I thought compared to the old one. The old one was actually 152 0.55 so uh, this guy's actually bigger than I thought he was <laughs> he's quite a bit bigger than our old one which is awesome but let's go ahead and put this up right here beautiful all right well it's too bad that we didn't really get anything else during this hunt I was really hoping that we would have more than just a Cape Buffalo but uh, it was a good hunt so I'm very happy that we did get to take it with the 470 I have wanted to try and do that for a while now and it's also been something that I've seen requested quite a bit is to hunt uh, either Cape Buffalo or Water Buffalo with the 470 so I'm glad we finally got a chance to do that and it happened to be the best scoring one that we've killed so far so that is also very awesome but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video but that is going to be it for today. If you're not already sub, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't liked the video, be sure to do that too. It really does help me out a ton. And we are getting really close to 3,500 subs. So it's, it's, it's crazy, honestly. I never expected the channel to grow as quickly as it has recently. And it's been honestly a little overwhelming. Uh, thank you all so much for all the support. It's been absolutely crazy. Hopefully by the end of the year, we can hit 5K. We still got a few months to go, so... I've got faith that we're going to make it, so hope everybody enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.